There's so many words. Okay. Hey friends, I'm Inez and I just finished my first year in ISI. I wanted to sit down and talk about how this year was like for me because uh, this perspective would have been helpful when I was researching universities in grade 12 and I wanted to be able to share it with prospective students. So ISI is McMaster's Integrated Science Program and it focuses on a more holistic approach to science because the solution to a lot of global issues draws on multiple disciplines of science. In first year we take math, life sci, physics, chemistry, earth science, and science literacy and we tie them all together through research projects and we also get to take one elective each semester so we're always taking seven courses. To get the basic idea of the workload in ISI, each week I'm usually working on one to two homework assignments which are just um, practice questions online that get marked immediately. Um, I'm studying for one to two quizzes, doing two pre-labs, working on written assignments which we, we usually have every two to three weeks and most importantly I'm always working on a research project which we call RPs which means uh, group meetings, research, writing, etc, etc. And we usually only have a weekend off in between them, so we're always working on one. Our grades are mostly determined by our RPs, but we do have exams. So this year, first semester, I had six midterms and six finals, and second semester, I had eight midterms and five finals. So I thought I'd just quickly go over the working team in ISI. Um, ISI is a full year course that's worth 24 credits and exactly 400 ISI points. So we have four full credit courses and two half credit courses. Um, and we have exams, so compared to our RPs, they're worth very little. I know um, that here the points look pretty close, but keep in mind that for every RP, we get points for all six disciplines, whereas exams are just for one discipline. So all of our assignments, quizzes, labs, and homework problems contribute to our continuous assessment grade, and since we only get one combined ISI grade, everything we do is pretty low pressure because um, in terms of how it'll affect our grades, everything is worth pretty much nothing. So for example, the most heavily weighted exam is worth 9 points, which is just 2.25% of our final grade. Going into ISI, I thought I was going to explore different fields of science and its various applications in order to pinpoint areas I'm most interested in or discover topics I didn't know existed before. It's a relatively new program, so I assume it took a more innovative approach and will present untraditional career pathways. So that's what I was expecting going into the program, because although I was inter interested in science, I didn't want to pursue academia and I couldn't pinpoint the specific areas that I was most interested in. So I was hoping that ISI would help me kind of figure it out. My mindset going into the program definitely affected my experience. So besides not really knowing what I want, there were a few other factors that affected how I felt this year. Firstly, throughout high school, I was very focused on my extracurriculars. And although I really cared about doing well in school, it was never my main focus. Um, I always put my extracurriculars or club meetings before my studying. So going into university, I really wanted to make um, academics my primary focus. And that was a really hard adjustment for me because I've never just focused on school. So um, that was part of why first semester was really, really hard for me. Finally, I realized that science wasn't the right career pathway for me. I think everyone around me that I didn't interact with in a school setting already knew this about me, but I really didn't know what I wanted. And to make sure that I had a productive year, I thought I would choose a program that I knew would be super challenging. Um, and since then, I've kind of learned that challenges don't necessarily lead to the type of growth I want. So. Hopefully I won't make a mistake like that again. <laughs> now that you understand where I'm coming from, I want to really emphasize that my experience is unique to me and a lot of eye size have different opinions. So with that, let's move on to the things I liked and didn't like. One of the things that really distinguished eyesight for me was its program size. So I'm surrounded by a really small group of people that are always down to help each other out. And although I feel like I didn't have many opportunities to make friends outside of my program, since we always had classes with the same group of people, I did talk to the 68 other students um, that were in ISI, and I feel like I got to know more people than I would have if I were in a different program. As well, since there's so few of us, we get a lot of resources, such as being able to ask for an extension when we think we have too much on our plate, or more one-on-one -on -one time with our profs, which is a really, really helpful resource. Finally, because we have identical schedules, we're always working on the same things, so we can always relate to each other's experiences and understand why we're all stressed, and that in itself was very comforting. The second thing I really appreciated about ISI was that our grades are very closely correlated to the amount of effort that we put in. This is because exams, which you kind of only have one shot in doing, are worth very little, whereas the only thing that's worth enough to really um, make us feel stressed is our research projects, which we have a few weeks to work on and perfect. I could be wrong, but I feel like I size get higher grades than the average science student because of how much help is available to us and also because our RPs could be mark boosters if you really put in the work. 
Lastly, since iSci is a research-based program, you gain more teamwork, research, scientific writing, and other skills that a lot of first years don't have as much practice with. So it's super helpful if you're looking for a research or lab position sometime in the future. Now moving on to the aspects of ISA I didn't really like. Firstly, I hated how many class hours we had. So this past semester, I had 32 hours of what I consider um, like teaching time. So time I spent with my TAs or profs where I'm learning new material. So like that includes lectures, labs, tutorials, and office hours. Because we spend so much time in class, I feel like there's less hours in the day than I'm used to having. And because we take seven classes, there just seems to be a never ending stream of work. And I know that most first year students feel this way as well, but it just sucked to see that my friends in other science programs were not stuck in class for as many hours as I was. And it just felt like the freedom that a lot of university students were talking about in terms of being able to plan their schedule and not being, and not having to spend seven hours in class each day um, was something I didn't really get to experience. Secondly, the learning style that the schedule forced me into was something I really, really hated at the beginning of the year, but started appreciating heading into second semester. In high school, I liked making notes and doing homework when I got home because that's how I learned. But in ISI, you don't really have time to do that. Because by the time we finished class, it would be late afternoon. And after that, I'd be working on homework assignments, pre-labs, um, or studying for a quiz. And the only time I'd have left, I'd spend doing small sections of my research project. So all the extra time um, that I would have spent studying, I filled with research project work. So I had to learn through lectures and homework assignments, which was really hard because that really wasn't my learning style, especially the learning during lectures part. So if that's something that you think you might struggle with, it's also something to consider. The part of uh, the eyesight workload I hated most was our RPs. When I researched the program, I saw RPs as a tool to um, draw together the different concepts from various classes that we were taking. Instead, they were just a set of very strict criteria that split apart inherently multidisciplinary questions, and each person only really ended up focusing on one or two disciplines. Instead of integrating the sciences like I thought they would, our research projects mainly served to help us learn research and scientific presentation skills. The last thing I want to mention doesn't necessarily affect me, but I know that bio is a primary area of interest for a lot of people, so I thought I'd mention it. Um, in first year ISI, we take a life science course, which is the equivalent of some bio and psychology courses. However, um, I feel like I didn't learn much beyond the grade 12 bio curriculum and basically no psych. So um, if those are areas you're interested in or if you want to pursue those areas of concentration later, you might be very unprepared heading into second year. Now, I just want to really quickly touch on grades because I know that that's really important for a lot of people. I want to emphasize that I have no clue how I'm doing relative to my classmates. And although I'm sharing my grades as a point of reference for you guys, I don't know if it's an average eyesight grade. I never missed any homework assignments, received any late penalties, or had any unexcused absences. So basically, I never received um, a zero on anything. I didn't really go out much at all, spent a lot of time in the library during exam seasons, and felt like I was pretty well prepared going into first year in terms of the concepts I needed to know from grade 12. However, I definitely could have spent less time on my phone or on YouTube and could have studied for my exams a lot earlier because there were numerous times during the year where I studied for my exams the night before or even the morning of. And um, I definitely could have started my work earlier. And I know this as for a fact because um, my roommate, who was also an ISI, was consistently <laughs> ahead of me for all homework assignments, projects, research, just everything. So um, hopefully that paints a picture of what kind of student I was. And I'm just going to stop rambling now and just tell you. Um, my first year ISI GPA was an 11. And I don't know if I could have gotten a 12, even if I tried harder. Um, however, I wasn't really aiming for a 12, so someone who maybe was um, working towards med school or on the med path may be able to speak better on how hard it would be or how plausible it is to get a higher grade or a more competitive GPA, but um, that, that's just how I did. 
Overall, ISA is a really great program for people that are interested in all the sciences or research, but it is not a great program for people who aren't really sure what they want and just use it as a catch-all because they're not really sure what kind of science they would like to pursue. It's a new program, but it's still a super traditional one in the sense that it prepares us for a future in academia. It seems like RPs allow for creativity and curiosity, but the criteria is super strict and we don't get much exposure to uncommon pathways because the focus is so predominantly research. The community aspect of ISI was amazing though, and I love that we had profs that were so readily available and accessible and um, cared about us as individuals beyond just schoolwork. So do I regret spending a year in ISI? No, if I could choose again, I would probably still choose math. I'm incredibly grateful for all the experiences I've had because they've helped me discover what I don't like. And I'm definitely going to miss how supportive everyone was. But my honest opinion is that ISI is super restricting because it doesn't allow us the flexibility to explore our interests, which sucks for people that aren't 100% sure that this program is what they want. So I'm not saying that you can't have extracurriculars because if you have um, a club or um, volunteering that you're very committed to, you could definitely fit it into your schedule. But in terms of um, exploring interests, I kind of see that as a risk in terms of how we spend our time because I don't know if that's something I will enjoy. And being able to just go with a friend to a club meeting to see if I'll enjoy it um, and just spontaneous things like that just don't really fit into my schedule. I know every program is difficult in its own way and the reasons that I think ISI is harder than a typical science program doesn't make it an objectively harder program. But this entire year, I've been saying that this program was hard for me because I feel like I couldn't have a life outside of school, but that it's definitely very possible if I just manage my time better, focus more, or just worked harder. But now looking back, I did work super hard and I tried to plan my schedule the best I could and sacrifice whatever I needed to in order to make deadlines. It's true that all the things I hated about ISI were technically my fault, but at the same time, I don't think a typical student would want to work six straight hours a day or have the energy to go out after a super draining week or have the motivation to start volunteering or join a new club when there's so little free time. To me, the program was so demanding, it felt almost suffocating. I was stuck in the situation I hated, but there was no breathing room to do anything else because how can you take risks and try new things when you're already so tired? I was so hard on myself this year for letting my first year experience play out the way it did, but I realized that I couldn't have explored my other interests because this year I was really invested in doing well and focusing academically and trying new things would have directly impacted how I did in ISI and as much as I hated my program I would have hated the idea of doing worse even more. So the final takeaway. I had a really hard time in ISI for my own reasons and there are people that ISI is perfect for but if you're considering going make sure that it's for the right reasons that you're fully committed to the program and that you're willing to sacrifice a lot of your freedom in order to excel there. So thanks for listening. I hope this was informative and please feel free to message me if you have any questions. Bye. There are like ants on my camera, on the chairs, on the, oh my God. I love nature, okay.